Who's breathing? Let me know. I was told the email for some time.
in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. We gather on the feast day of Saint Justin, clearly a martyr. We'll reflect on him after our Gospel reading. But we know the call ourselves to witness to the life of our faith in our own demanding and difficult situations. You have made known to us the mystery of salvation. Lord, have mercy. <laughs> Your spirit cries out from our hearts, for we do not know how to pray as we should. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You make us a pleasing sacrifice to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. We ask the Holy Spirit to join the entire community, bearing in mind those with us through the streaming. Let us pray. O God, who through the folly of the cross wondrously taught St. Justin the Martyr the surpassing knowledge of Jesus Christ, grant us through his intercession that having rejected deception and error, we may become steadfast in the faith through our Lord. Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. I, Tobus, took a bath. Then I went into the courtyard and lay down by the courtyard wall. Since it was hot, I left my face uncovered. I did not know that there were sparrows in the wall above my head. Their hot droppings fell into my eyes white spots then formed, which I was obliged to have treated by the doctors. But the ointments they tried me with, the more the spots blinded me, and in the end I became blind altogether. I remained without sight for four years. All my brothers were distressed, and Annika provided for my upkeep for two years till he left for Elimaeus. My wife Anna then undertook woman's work. She would spin wool and take cloth to weave. She used to deliver whatever had been ordered from her and then she'd receive the payment. And now on March the 7th, she finished a piece of work and delivered it to her customers. They paid her all that was due, and into the bargain they presented her with a kid for a meal. When the kid came into my house, it began to bleat. So I called to my wife and I said, where does this creature come from? Suppose it has been stolen. Quick, let the owners have it back. We have no right to eat stolen goods. And she said, no, it was a present given to me, over and above my wages. But I did not believe her, and I told her to give it back to the owners. I did blush at this in their presence. 
And then she answered, what about your own arms? What about your own good works? Everyone knows what return you have had for them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. With a firm heart he trusts in the Lord. With a firm heart he trusts in the Lord. Happy the man who fears the Lord, who takes delight in his commands. His sons will be powerful on earth. The children of the upright are blessed. With a firm heart he trusts in the Lord. He has no fear of evil news. With a firm heart he trusts in the Lord. With a steadfast heart he will not fear. He will see the downfall of his foes. With a firm heart he trusts in the Lord. Open-handed he gives to the poor. His justice stands firm forever. His head will be raised in glory. With a firm heart he trusts in the Lord. Please stand you do remember, you cannot sing yet. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Word of God is something alive and active. It can judge secret emotions and thoughts. Alleluia. chief priests and the scribes and the elders sent to Jesus some Pharisees and some Herodians to catch him out in what he said. These came and said to him, Master, we know you are an honest man, that you are not afraid of anyone, because a man's rank means nothing to you, and that you teach the way of God in all honesty. Is it permissible to pay taxes to Caesar or not? Should we pay, yes or no? Seeing through their hypocrisy, he said to them, Why do you set this trap for me? Hand me a denarius and let me see it. They handed him one, and he said, Whose head is this? Whose name? Caesar's, they told him. Jesus said to them, Give back to Caesar what belongs to Caesar, and to God what belongs to God. This reply took them completely by surprise. The Gospel of the Lord. So we're called to pay our taxes, to recognise that the, the state has a right for that. But the two groups that are, are gathered together are absolute enemies. And it really shows to us how dangerous Jesus was because he was lifting up the poor and the lowly. He was giving a special place for women who obviously were incredibly low status. The discarded of society, they too are welcome in his company, and he preaches the kingdom. Not a state, but the realm of God, the place where justice and peace are to be found. We'll obviously hear again and again how this becomes more and more of an issue and a problem. Today's Saint Justin was born at the very beginning of the second century in Nablus in Samaria and he was a pagan Greek. He studied philosophy and through Platonism, which I never understood, he became a Christian and then he decided that he would stay as a layman, that was his vocation, but he would proclaim the good news and travelled from place to place 
proclaiming the gospel. In the year 151, he travelled to Ephesus in contemporary Turkey, and from there to Rome, where he did a very brave and dangerous thing. He opened a school of philosophy for Christians to study. He wrote defences and always preached the truth of the faith. His earliest writings do survive, and then in 165 there was the terrible persecution of Marcus Aurelius, and he was denounced as a Christian, arrested and beheaded, and even the transcript of his trial survives him. His work was very, very balanced. He respected the wisdom of Greek philosophy, but said, you need to find someone else, something so much more than merely struggling with ideas. And he always taught the Christians with him that they really had to understand their own faith in, able to be able, you know, in order to be able to defend it. So really, for a man in the first 100 years, he is someone who is so important for us today, so that we should be able to speak about and defend our own faith. So join us tomorrow night at Adult Formation. All the information is on the, the newsletter and the mass sheet. So let's offer our prayers. Pray for all those millions who suffer extreme persecution because of their Christian faith. The church in China at the moment is really, really producing so many martyrs. Lord, hear us. Pray for the terrible uh, knife crimes that occurred over the weekend and obviously relatively close to us as well. Pray that the perpetrators will be caught and brought to justice and that the young men and women will find through the Spirit other ways. Lord, hear us. And to pray for the little baby, I, I didn't understand the, the syndrome that they named, but he's starting some new treatment with a drug which will phenomenally improve the quality of life. Pray for other babies with the same or similar syndrome. Lord, hear us. Lord, Lord, those we've been asked to pray for by name, whose problems, whose situations are really quite extreme. For Anne Farrell, Greg and June, Lillian Redican, Helen Dunman, Lynn, Maureen, John Worthington. But for all those we have concerns for. Lord, hear us. Lord, gracious We ask you, Father of all, to hear and to grant our prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen.
Sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Grant us, we pray, O Lord, that we may celebrate worthily these mysteries which Saint Justin strenuously defended through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you are glorified when your saints are praised. Their very sufferings are but wonders of your might. In your mercy you give ardour to their faith. To their endurance you grant firm resolve. And in their struggle the victory is yours through Christ our Lord. Amen. Therefore, all creatures of heaven and earth sing a new song in adoration, and we with all the host of angels, cry out, and without end, we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, our hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Mystery of faith. Save us. Save us. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, 
together with Francis, our Pope, Mark, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours forever and ever. Amen. So by spirit-filled people, we pray to our Abba, our Father, who art in heaven. Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Just before we start praying the Lamb of God, We've received a series of permissions for easing from the Bishop's Conference and obviously from Bishop Mark, so we're going to introduce them slowly and very carefully. Readers during the weekday, fortnight's time, readers on Sunday, and today we'll start, I will proclaim to you the body of Christ as you receive, and then obviously you proclaim Amen. Please do keep on receiving side on to each other, so we're making sure each other are kept safe. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am worthy that you should enter under my roof, but I will say word from my
Let us pray. <clears throat> Refreshed by heavenly food, we humbly implore you, O Lord, that, attentive to the teaching of St. Justin the Martyr, we may abide at all times in thanksgiving for the gifts we have received through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go and proclaim the Gospel of the Lord.